what uh, what are what are some of the things on that subject? What what are the, some of the things that make make for a great incubator or accelerator? What what are are there are there blocks hmm. that you have to you know boxes that you have to check or things that you have to have that? I mean, you guys well, are. I'm biased, obviously. Um, yeah, I mean, I think we're still trying to put together the recipe on that. I think, um, you know, I, at least for what we're doing, you know, which is probably uh, consumer internet businesses, small business SaaS, maybe some enterprise, uh, more family and parenting stuff these days also. Um, you know, engineering, uh, design, and marketing disciplines are really important. So, and variations on those. Those three in particular matter a lot. Um, probably some pitch coaching and fundraising, although if your business is doing well, then you probably don't need much coaching on the pitching. And if your business isn't doing well, then pitch coaching doesn't help so much. So I think there's there's some eye chart Naval uh, thing that Naval put together that was like traction, product or traction team, product pitch or something like that. And it was like those were levels of importance. <laughs> I probably agree with that. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of rambling here. So what's uh, let's 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 break into this. No, 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 I want I want to talk about this a little bit. Please no, go I ahead. I mean, <laughs> would love to talk about it more. I like to hear myself talk. Uh, yeah, I mean, I I think the little bit of funding and sort of you know compressed time frame to get a product together that part is good. Um, you may not get it the right the first time with that. You might need to do a couple different iterations. Um, I think. Getting design and UX components in early is important. That's one of the things that we were trying to emphasize, and we do usually a design and UX review within the first two to four weeks when people come in. I'd, I'd like to think that was one of the innovations we introduced. I don't know if YC and Techstars were doing that before we started doing it. Um, we emphasize a program that's uh, physical space, so the companies are there. I mean, well, I should explain that we run an accelerator program, and then we invest at seed in other companies as well. So probably about a quarter to a third of our investing goes through our own accelerator program. Another third to a half of it goes through companies who are raising seed who have been through other accelerator programs. Um, but I think having that environment where you're around other people is important, other people who are working on products. Um, so we intentionally you know, wanted to get class size to around 25 teams. So we're doing 25 to 30 teams twice a year. Um, and so there's this interesting thing. When I was doing the um, the Facebook class I taught at Stanford and then when we were running Facebook Fund, uh, we saw this, which is, um, you know, you think that 25 teams is more than you can actually handle. Uh, we had like, I don't know, 110 people apply to the class we taught at Stanford and we tried our darndest to scare them out. <laughs> and we, we, I think 90 people sort of like, we're there by week two, and there were 75 people by the end of the semester. We had 25 teams. Wow. Five were miserable. Uh, five were amazing. And there was about five or ten that were pretty good. Um, and so the five that were amazing would have been amazing anyway. Uh, the five or ten that were pretty good, we think, got better because they were around the five that were amazing. And so hmm. there's this interesting thing that you have when you have three or more sort of outliers, they tend to compete with each other and they raise the bar on each other. Uh, and then the second group that might not have been successful models behavior after the first group and then they level up. Uh, and you got to be careful not to have too many losers, otherwise everybody models around the losers and that's not good. Uh, sorry, not talking about any of you. You're all awesome. <laughs> We got uh, some losers here. But so that, uh, I think there the was banana something guy around in the, back. the guy definitely in the a loser. banana, definitely a fucking loser. <laughs> <laughs> what up, dude? Oh, wow. Even Student more so now. Debt he lifted is up a, bananas. got a sign. Oh, man. Okay. Bananadebt.com or something oh, like that. Awesome. Well, you got your airtime. Is that a banana subscription banana, service? Because he will invest. The banana was for, was the airtime. Awesome. Uh, good job. So. Uh, he just hijacked this thing. He yeah, just hijacked this, okay. dude. I, and it worked. Did you see him? Did you see him walk in? I like told. I just like there's a freaking banana in the back of the room. <laughs> what just happened right Dude, now? Dude, I have been These there. These are your people. I have been are that those your friends? Before, exactly. Are those the eight guys, the uh, rumple no, 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 no. skin guys? Different. Different. Exactly. Oh yes. man, that's our fault. That's Todd. Uh -huh. He's our guy. Don't quit your day job, wow. buddy. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry. How's that paying for you? <laughs> it sucks. I'm writing the checks. 
<laughs> it's not good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, anyway, so there was a serious thought to this. Well, I, in some way. <laughs> so can, can anyway, I, can, the point being that there's some success rate for outliers. You want enough people to have high high level competition and then have other people model behavior after that high level competition. And I don't think you get that with just 10 teams. So I, there's a lot of accelerators out there who fund 10 teams, and I think it's actually not good. You're not you're not you don't have enough sample size to ensure success. And so probably, you know, YC is different because they don't have them there all the time. They just come in for office hours. They're like at 80. Once a week, yeah. But there's, I mean, it's, it's impressive. And I think there's a lot of interesting stuff they're doing with scaling up to that size that's really amazing. Um, but we kind of chose, at least for our program, we wanted physical um, space. And kind of thinking the 75 to 125 person tribe size was like an interesting size. This is just founders? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, when so two to two or three founders, occasionally, you know, a couple of non-founders that are there also. Also working there. But 25 teams, about two and a half people, maybe three people. We, we probably push the envelope on that a little bit because we have other teams there. But about 100 people yeah. seems to work. When you, your first session, or the first group that you did was 12 teams. The, the last one that you just launched was 27. Is I think that we right? did 12 or... 14, I can't remember, we added a couple, then we did 24, then we did 34, and we thought 34 was a little bit too big, we backed mm. off, this last group was 27, actually felt like we could have done a little bit more, so maybe we might push to 30 again this time mm. and see. Um, and that's that's about, you think that's that's the best, that's the sweet spot? Uh, it's, I mean, four iterations doesn't enough to like really give us complete, you know, and this is a particular instance, so, you know, it might be different rules in different countries and geographies and other things, so. I don't know, but it feels like right now some of that magic has worked and we kind of, some of it's just our ability to interact with people. You know, maybe if we designed that differently, we could scale bigger. Um, but yeah, it feels like it's working. The start.